Hey and welcome to this video. Um, we'll, I'll be showing you some tricks to do with the command prompt or CMD as the show app. These aren't actually hacks. Many people call them hacks, but it's just a it's just a clever way of using the command prompt. Now you won't be able to use this at school because or at the workplace or anything because you need administrator rights. So. If you don't know how to get to the command prompt, you really shouldn't be watching this video. But for those that are that desperate for it, you go start. All programs. This is on Vista, by the way. Um, XP should be exactly the same. Accessories. And on Vista, you want to right mouse click and go run as administrator. You kind of have to be signed into an administrator account to do this, otherwise, yeah, as I said before, it won't just won't work. Now, our first little trick here is something called net user, which will list all the users in our network or just the computer local network, the computer that we're on. So we want to type in net user hit enter so now it should start to to show the accounts which are on the computer now we can see you have an administrator's account a guest account and my account now don't worry about this one you should have at least these two so you should have an administrator's account and a another account on there now what we want to do is we want to first of all add an account so we can do our stuff on so instead of having to go through control panel and all that sort of stuff to make an account we can use the use the command prompt to do that to do that we type net user and then we want to type in our username so our username goes after this so let's go test space and if you want to put a password you stick an asterisk if you don't want a password just leave it now I'm going to have a password here, then um, forward slash add. Now it should prompt you to type the password if you put the asterisk there. Now if I wrote if I write happy, it's not actually going to show up there. You can see, but it is saved in there. So hit enter, then it'll say retype the password. I write happy again, and if you have done that right, it should they say the command completed successfully. Now to see if that's actually true and see if our account was created, we type net user and see our account there, test. Now I want to be able to give my account administrator rights so I can do all this from my test account. So to do that we do net local group so now we are selecting a group that we want to put this account in and we want to put in admin administrators administrators and then we now choose an account test you know slash add so if that was done right you'll say the command completed successfully now the account test has full administrator rights now you can go and check out the account do that stuff but if I did that my recording software would just crash and you wouldn't be able to see anyway. So I now don't want this account. This was just test account. I now want to delete it. To do that, we type net user. This one's probably the most easiest. Choose the account and slash del for delete. Hit it. The command completed successfully. But be careful with this one. If you type in, just say I typed in net user, then I typed in Peter, my account slash del it will delete my account and everything on it which isn't really a good thing so be careful with that now to see if it's actually deleted we go net user and voila so there it is so I hope you enjoyed that I'm not responsible for anything if you screw up your computer don't come blaming it on me um, yeah but thanks for watching